Fantastic. Hello there, Master Alice here, and welcome to January the 1st, 1858. Yes, some time has passed since last episode, and we're going to continue the game from this point here. What I've done is I've changed absolutely nothing. I've let the existing network that you can see lying out beneath us here tick over uh, throughout time. And if we go over to the money icon here, we can see that um, four full years have actually passed. Now, we're now in 1958, just started. But in the last three years, you can see we made a little bit of profit each year, despite paying um, 100000 for loan interest. So, um, our business is just about viable. So let's have a closer look at what's going on here. Wee Frame drop there as I zoom in. Um, so we've got um, Chatham, I think it is. There it is, Chatham. And that's doing okay. There's quite a lot of passengers wandering around. And the train going backwards and forwards here is making uh, a bit of money. Now if we click on the train, there we are, we can see it's full with 30 of 30 passengers. Okay, now a new train would probably cost us a lot of money. And we haven't got a lot of money at the minute. Now if we go all the way down here to, what's this one called? Twickenham, I think. Uh, how many passengers are waiting at the station? 76! I think we can probably get another train in there. So that's going to be my target before the end of the episode. Now this train that's going backwards and forwards up this hill here. It's got a long way to go. And it's probably going very slowly. Have we got How many carriages do we, have we got on this? Where has it gone? Train! Hello, train! Where are you? No idea. There's one in there somewhere. Oh, there he is. There we go. Um, 14 kilometres an hour. Um, and it doesn't carry a lot of grain or livestock, even though a lot of grain or livestock is actually building up here. So I think the next time that train 2 is down the other end, we should buy some carriages for it. Let's have a look, see how much those carriages are going to cost us. We'll go to the engine shed. And let's click on buy trains. So an open wagon is 125k. That's quite expensive. And a goods wagon, I think that's what we can get livestock in. Yes, that's 125k as well. I was thinking about buying a total of three. We haven't got a lot of money on that side of front, so maybe we'll have to do that later in the episode too. What I was thinking though is here we've got this, uh, we're bringing, what is it, the grain and the livestock into this food processing plant, but we're not doing anything with the bread that should be being made, the food production. So I'm thinking, well, let's take it somewhere, let's take it to one of the towns. And originally I was going to use this train station, okay, and we could do that, but the trains cost quite a lot of money, and I don't want to have to connect them up, we haven't got the cash. So I thought, well, let's try some trucks. So let's do uh, a cargo stop uh, and put that in. So let's win that round. Come on. There we go. Look at that in terms of price comparison. 17000 that was going to cost. Let's see how far away we can, from there we can get it. Okay, so we can put it about here. There we are. Look, $12,000 compared to the 125000 whatever it was, for one carriage. So we're going to put that in. We're going to need a truck depot, so we can get some trucks. So let's put it in next door. That's going to cost us 11 thou. And then what we want to do is bring the food into the town. Now let's have a look with the map, and we'll do land use. Here we go. So if we look from above in um, Chatham, we see that there's a residential area here. And in the middle we've got our commercial, and then an industrial down this side. And we do have some buildings in the middle here that need food and tools and goods. Houses don't need food. I think food has to go to the commercial buildings. And we've got a stop already in the town. Uh, let's have a look. Where are they? Here they are, look. We've already got stops in the town, so I don't have to buy any more stops. I think I can just go 
and buy some vehicles. So let's do that straight away. So, so far on this adventure, uh, on this venture, sorry, not adventure, uh, I think that was about 12 and that was about 11. So we'll call it about 25 grand, okay? Let's buy some vehicles. Buy road vehicles. Let's get a horse wagon so that we can cut. Now, they are 13,000 each. So 25, that's going to be about 38 or 39. There we go. Let's buy one. Let's buy another one. That's going to be about uh, 44, 53-ish, uh, 60-odd. Uh, How many we got? We've got four. Uh, let's have one more. So that cost us probably less than 100,000 for the depot and the trucks and all of that stuff. Let's set up a new line. Let's get a brand new line. New line on our line. So we're going to go from the truck stop here, down this road that already exists, to this bus stop that already exists. And you can drop, you can drop things off at bus stops. That's fine. There we go. The Crescent, that's called. So I don't, do they have to go up a hill here? They do have to go up a slight hill, but I don't think it's going to be too bad with these horse trucks. And that's it. Now we just need to set these all to a line. Line 6. I think they should be on their way. Yep, there they go. They're on their way. Brilliant. I mean, they're already, cost, already costing me money. Go on. Get, get a shifty on. Brilliant. Now, I don't know how many of these we're going to need in the future, to be honest. Uh, there's also no cargo waiting at this particular station. It's not too much of a problem, though. I'm sure there will be some cargo waiting soon. It it can get some bread from over here. There we go. So, I think... I have no idea where that one's going. Where... where, where oh. 15 kilometres an hour. That's my only concern is that it's actually going to end up going quite slow. Oh, and this one's stuck on the road. Look, the horses are frozen. The man's not frozen, but the horses are frozen. Ah, hang on a second. These are moved on, so... Uh, oh, no! Oh, no, these are, all, these are all delivering logs. Quick, go to depot. I've made a mistake. I... I... I, I oh, dear... We don't want to do logs. You, you, all, all go to the depot. Okay, let's get rid of the screen. Fast forward. Come on. In you go. Come on. Get in there. That's it. Be nice if they actually went in a little bit more rather than just disappearing when they got to the door. Right, let's click this little plus icon and say you are delivering food. Food. Now, I, th I don't know... I don't know if I have to do this, to be honest. Maybe you could leave a note in the comments. I think if I don't select what you what they pick up or what they're fitted for, then they just pick they can just pick up anything that is available. Well, let's try that now. Have we got any bread waiting? We've got some food waiting. We've got eleven food waiting. That's brilliant. So our first one should pick up some food. Road Vehicle 9. Well, we haven't made any money from this yet, so giddy up. Come on. So there's Road Vehicle 9. Road Vehicle 9 has four food in it. Road Vehicle 8 also has four food in it. There we go. Uh, Road Vehicle 10 also. They're all getting loads of food. Oh, there's no food there waiting now to be taken. Uh, Road Vehicle 4 has got one food in it. One food, one food. Oh, it's leaving with one food. I didn't know whether it would fully load or not. Okay, so let's go now. We've got, what's it costing? $191. That's expensive horse feed. That's very expensive. Oh, I've got navigable waters turned on. There we go. Well, at least you can see that they're on the way. I think this back one here might not have much in it. That's got two in it. And that one's got one in it. That's no good. Well, we'll see how much money they bring in in a minute. So they're all on their way. 
We've got this train going backs and forwards. We've got 700... Oh, wow! 733k in the bank already. Well, that's quite good, that. I'm thinking maybe we can get another train in. Um, oh, we missed, cha I mean, we missed our chance to add more wagons to this train. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, how much is an actual train? Where's my train depot? There it is. Uh, buy trains. All right, so a train is 123,000. Oh, that's not as much as what I thought it was going to be. Ah, right. Our road vehicles with our food are coming in. So we got 6... Was that 6k from that? Yeah. 6k, that's not bad. That's going to bring us a little bit of profit in nice and slowly. Oh, it's only 1.5k. Obviously not quite as much food, but there should be loads of food waiting for you when you get back, mate. And you've got 3.5... Right, that's good. And the first one's on the way back. Maybe we should put another... Oh, we've got 22 waiting already. Okay, can I buy... Hang on a second. Eh. Buy road vehicles. Let's get another couple on the go. Food. 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 Set line six. Go! Yeah, they should spread out quite nicely, actually. These guys can go one way while the other ones go the other way. Right! Uh, I think now we need to start looking at whether we can get these lines set up ready for multiple trains. Uh, this train appears to be always full. 30 passengers all the time. How many have we got at this station? 46, and it's only just left the station. We're going to need another train. So let's have a look. We need to get some signals in. So we've got signals down here, which do the job quite nicely. And then we've got a junction over here, so we probably ought to have signals before the junction. So we want, let's see, yeah. that one there, and can I get it any closer? That one there. Oh, of course, we're in fast forward, that's why that train just went through there at a million mile an hour. Um, do I put some here as well? Yeah, why not? So we put one there, and we'll put one there. And then we'll come, no, not that way, over here. Yeah, still getting used to the camera controls on this. Uh, that there, and that there. They're a bit close to each other, aren't they? Hey, it's fine. And then we'll do one over here as well, as we're going into the junction block. There we go. And then one here as well. Now, do we want one? Oh, a new vehicle is available. A ship. I, I don't really care about the ship, to be, care, to be fair, at the moment. I've got trains on the go. God, look at it shoot by. Now, these two aren't connected to each other here. That's not very good. Actually, I, I want to fix that track. Okay, so let's take out that signal and this track here. Right, okay, let's see if I can fix that. Hopefully it won't cost too much money, because I don't have a lot. Okay, so I want to go from here, and I want to just go alongside this, to begin with, to about there. Yeah. Oh, it's only 5k, that's fine. And then... Why is construction not possible? Oh, there we go. So then, this comes around here and joins up like that. Ah, that's more like it. Good, 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 good. good. Right, let's put the signals back. I'm hoping to get better. Now, I, I need to learn a little bit more about signals, but this is kind of like the basic way of doing the signals. Just dividing them up into blocks like this. Let's put one there and one there. And then we've got a merge here. Ooh. Well, actually, no, hang on a minute. Let's get rid of them. Let's treat all that as one block and put the signals here. Um, so where's my signals? There we go. So we just want one 
for exiting there and one for entering there. There we go. Well, that's that bit done. We've got a big gap here with no signals. We've got a big gap here with no signals. Did I do signals at this end? I did. I'm not going to do signals around the depot just yet. So we'll leave a gap there. We'll put some signals in here. There we go. Uh, signals uh, in front of this. Now, oh, uh, that'll do. Uh, we'll put some here. There we go. Put some here. How much do these cost? Three thousand. It's expensive signals. I, I, I'm pretty sure that I could probably get like just a builder to come along with and and, and just put some signals up for a lot less than six thousand a pair. Okay, I, this is probably going to do for now, to be honest. Because we want the trains to be staggered. And if one's one end, one's the other end, then that should be okay. We'll just put some in the middle of here. And some in the middle of there. There we go, that works quite nicely. Now all we need is a train, and we've got money for it, I think. Actually, oh, we missed that other train, our other train again. I want to get it another livestock van and then another one of each. We'll have to keep an eye out, see when that's coming back. Uh, right, here we go, depot, brilliant. So, we want to buy a train. We want to get a train engine. Ba -ba. And then a D one third car, whatever that is. Um, this will allow for passengers, won't it? Let's have a look. Locomotive, wagons, multiple units. Wagons, passenger. There we are. Um, so how many's our current train got? It's got one, two, three, four, five. Well, this one's also got five now. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until this train here, train one, is nearly at the other end. We've still got 374k in the bank. When it's nearly at the other end... We're going to set this train off on its journey. So that they're staggered from one end to the other. And also, whilst we're flying up here in the sky, we're going to keep an eye on train two to find out when it gets back down uh, to our food processing plant. We'll also need to check out on how our trucks are getting on. Hopefully they're making a good amount of money. In fact, let's do that now quickly. So if I click the... Let's have a look at the line, line information. So line six is the one with all our trucks on, and the balance apparently is 9.58k. The frequency is every 92 seconds, which I'm not sure about to be honest. Um, oh look, our train's nearly at the other end. So uh, set line. It's line three, isn't it? I don't know. I I'm fairly sure it's, it must be line three. Well, it's on its way now, anyway. So, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this one. And see how they get on with going past each other. So, there's still 29 people in the station, even though this train is full of 30 people. So, let's go on board as we go past the depot. Oh, this looks... Oh, hang on a minute. Game saving. There's the signal going up. Brilliant. And there's the next signal should go up. And in the distance, we should see the other train coming the other way at some point soon. I think I can just make it out. I'm not sure. I love these signals going up and down. Oh, there it is. There's the other train. It's going to whiz past at the equivalent speed of 80 kilometers an hour. Hello. Wham. There it goes. Brilliant. That should, I think, increase our general profits as on line three. <gasps> oh, we just got a new... Oh, we just got a new train. But I just built a train. Oh, hang on a minute. Where's our other train? 
Where's our other train? Oh, it's on its way back again. Um, oh, we got a new car and a new train. Let's go have a look at them. Uh, have a look at them. Let's go have a look at them and see how much money they are. There we go. So if we look at the locomotives, we can see this is the one we started with, and then there's this one. It goes slightly faster. It's slightly heavier. It's got a lot more power. It's got some more traction e effort. Its running costs are a lot higher. So you'd probably be thinking that it's actually pulling a lot more carriages, to be honest. Um, and then the wagons, we've got this car here. Uh, a capacity of eight in comparison to six. Um, has a higher top speed. And... Oh, considerably more running costs. Um, yeah, it's quite a lot more running costs compared to the capacity of eight. And the price is like double. No, nah, not quite double. No, nah, it's less than double. Well, I'm not that impressed with the actual carriages, but I am moderately impressed with the train. So that's quite good. Maybe we could get the train and add more carriages to it. Now, whilst we're over here, let's just quickly do the signals for this junction, so go in. Oh, we there we go, and then uh, here. And then I figure, do I need some here? I don't know if I need some here. I hear a train. Oh, there it is. Heading into the station. It's actually quite an industrial district around here. So I'm thinking I might change the engine and just add a couple more carriages. There are 35 people, passengers, waiting here. And this train can handle 30, so that's... Uh, quite. We've got quite a good balance on those trains now, actually. That's really good. Where's my train? Is it... On its, it's on its way back for the first time. Well, not for the first time. The first time that we've actually noticed. So we're going to get some carriages on that. Oh, things are going quite well. I must admit, coming towards the end of episode two, I was a little bit like, I wonder if this company is going to even make any money. Um, but it, it was just about profitable to the point where I'm able to um, crack on and, and get some stuff done. Um... Some good, what's this, charts of how much stuff was loaded? Hmm. Well, I'll have to have a closer look at that in a minute. Right, this train, as soon as it's dropped its goods off, we're going to send it to the depot, train two. There we are, it's dropped off. Go to the depot. Good train. If we look at it from this angle, we won't see the train disappearing, I don't think. I don't know. We might do. You never know. Down the uh, ridiculously steep incline, because I embedded the depot into the ground for some reason. Is it going to disappear? Oh no, the train actually... Oh, just about. The train went inside. Oh my goodness, I'm inside the depot now. Right. Uh, depot. Uh, train? Um... By train, here we go. So, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's worth getting this faster, more powerful train to pull these wagons up. I don't know if we can, yeah, we can probably afford it. So, if we get rid of the engine, we got 62k back from that. If we buy this one, that cost us 220. If we put on an open wagon, just move it so that the wagons at the front there there we go and if we buy a couple of goods wagons so we can get the livestock in there we've still got 200k in the bank and we've upgraded this train brilliant and now we want to set it on to line four isn't it yeah line four okay cool let's have a look at this brand new train it looks moderately similar. It's a similar style to the last train that we uh, 
we had powering up and down this line. I do like the look of these trains, they are really nice. Lots of steam and smoke as it slowly comes up that incline. Let's get some details up in the corner about it. Um, oh, you can see the guy in the back. And it's stopping at this station. I don't know why it's stopping at this station. Oh, hang on a minute. Coal and grain. Go back to the depot. Back to the depot. Go on. Get in there. Fast forward. Coal and grain. At the moment, I'm still unsure as to whether I need to label these. But I'm going to do it anyway, just in case. And I'll look in your comments and I'll, you can let me know whether I have to or not. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, try again. Get back out there. What's that? Line. Line four. Go. Brilliant. Now, this train's longer than the previous train. Uh, which means it's going to be heavier. Um, and the other train struggled to get up some of the hills and I think it was going like 14 kilometers an hour now this one's got a higher top speed of 45 which is made very quickly very easy early on and it's powering through here quite nicely it is slowing down a little bit through here and I don't think this hill's really necessary um, if I've got some spare money at the end of the episode I'll probably cut this hill out because if we go up here and then I think we go down again and then back up into the hill yeah, look, we're going down again now. So I think if we can cut through there, that'd be best. Or not have to go down here. That would also be good, probably, as well. So we're, we're going quite fast through here. And I'm wondering how fast we're going to go through this tunnel. Because once you get through this tunnel, that's where the other trains slowed down a lot. And it is slowing down quite... Yeah, it's slowing down quite a lot here. But not as much as the other one did. The other one plummeted right down to 14 kilometers, and this one is still going and is kind of bottoming out at 18. So we have got a good deal of extra performance out of this one. Where is it? It's beneath us, isn't it? There it is. Cost us 13,000 to run that. But we have lots of grain and livestock waiting for us as the train arrives here. So the train itself can carry 12 of each. And we had 70 grain waiting. Oh my goodness, we might need another train. I wonder if this train is actually making money on the line. It is. It appears that it is making profit overall. Um, one thing that I just did notice though is it looks like line 6 isn't making profit. Um, which is our new food wagons. So let's go back over here and see what's going on. So nothing is waiting, and I think that's part of the problem. We've got journeys being made, and so loaded, uh, unloaded. Uh, we're looking at lots of stuff being unloaded there. If we look at how much stuff was being loaded here. See charts. Okay, so it's fairly consistent. It's about what is that? A month, is it? Or is that a year? Is that ten units a year? Hmm. Kinda could do with some sort of oh there you are, supply rating. 80 uh, 58%. 0%. Uh 0%. Fifty-eight percent. So we are getting some supplies through. I think it's just the production isn't enough. Production is zero. What? Why? Why is production zero? There's nothing waiting. Is it because we haven't got enough? We haven't got enough stuff coming from our. Tra ah, this train's going to bring some stuff though, isn't it? Come on then. Let's travel along the line with you again. We're heading for uh, Chatham North, which, if I can, I'll probably rename a little later. Going up this hill, almost not losing any speed. It's a pointless hill to have in this railway. I wasn't paying too much notice to the contours when I built that particular section of the line. Never mind. 
Well, I wonder if the production will go up again then once we get this delivery. Let's find out. So there is our fantastic train 2 coming in to deliver. We've got our production over here, which is currently... Ah, production just went up a little bit. It's going up a little bit more. It's going up even more. Ah, right, so it needs stuff to produce. Hmm. Now, if I want two trains on this line, I either have to build a second line alongside it, which I could do, actually. I think I have the money. And Okay, let's, let's finish the episode by doing that. Now, first things first, there was a hill in here that didn't need to be in. It's round here. Let's get the contours on. Okay, so it's kind of going up here for no reason from what I can see. Let's have a look. Yeah, up here for no reason. So if we take that line out, there we go, and just nuke it on both sides there. Now what if I then replace that line? Is it going to cut it down for me? It does appear to doing does appear to be doing some cutting that it wasn't doing before. Okay, let's let's do that. And then this dip here. This dip here's points as well, because it means you have to go down on the way back again as well. So if we take this dip out and try and keep this level as possible. Look, it's building the land up round here. And it's building it up a little bit here as well to make it one big steady incline. That is a lot better. Right, well, we haven't spent a lot of money, so I'm thinking... Um, ooh, I don't know what happened there. I'm thinking we don't currently use this line on the other side. So let's, let's get rid of it. Let's just disconnect it for now. We'll use it later, maybe. There we are, we'll just have that disconnected. And we'll have these lines coming out together. Now, I, I know I tried to keep this so that the road would be okay. Oh, the road is fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's do that. Now, I'm presuming that I should be able to just go through the tunnel with this as well. There we are. That's 202k. Ooh, I don't think we're going to have enough money to do this. So I think I'm going to have to finish off this next time. Um, we're going to need a crossover here. What on earth is going on? That is not what I'm trying to do. Let's try and do it like this. Oh, there we go. So... That crossover in there. Too much slope. I can't see what I'm doing thanks to that train. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we did manage to get a crossover on that end. Well, um, oh, we have got nearly a million in the bank. Well, let's see. Let, I, I thought I wasn't going to be able to do this, but let's see how far we can go. Oh, road vehicle has been reaped. Lifetime. Okay, we'll, we'll have a look at those road vehicles soon. That didn't cost a lot of money. You can see that we're on a nice steady incline all the way up now. That should um, do us a lot better. A lot, lot better than previously. Look at that. 95k just for that section. I think it's because the tunnels are expensive, isn't it? Yes, yeah, the tunnels are expensive. What the flip? What happened there? They are nuts. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Try again. Is there an... I'm not sure if there's an undo in this game, but we'll see. That's better! Oh dear. Right, and then we want to go from here to there. 
Right, now we need to go through this massive tunnel and see which which side I left the platform on. Oh, look at that. It's the right side. The correct side I left the platform on. This is going to be really expensive. 1.6 million. I haven't got 1.6 million. We need money left for a train. Okay, um, let's cancel that. Let's put a crossover in. Too much curvature. Okay. Let's try doing a nice long crossover. There we are. And then I, I wonder at the other end if I can just connect it up to the platform so that they share the tunnel for now. And then we can upgrade it next time. Yay! Did it! Now, there's a massive great big hill here, so I think the odds of me putting a depot on the end is going to be very expensive. But let's have a quick look. Depot. Actually, that's not bad. 50k. Um, and then, if I just, like, kind of move it back a little bit. I don't want it too low. Or maybe I can get them both connected. Oh, hang on, that's a bit wonky. I just wasted 30k. Nuts. Oh, well, never mind. Let's just rotate that oh, a little bit. What do I hold shift, isn't it? Uh, a little bit more. There we go. Try and get it more or less in the middle. There we are. Track it up. Yep, yeah, and... Oh, nice. Okay, now, can I clone a train? Can I, oh, let's get the contours off. Where's my train? There's my train. Right, can I say, you, buy train. Buy that one. I don't know how to do that. We're going to have to just do it manually. So we got the expensive engine, didn't we? So we buy that. And then we had three open wagons. Two, three. Yep. And then we had... Is it three goods vans? One, two... Ooh, not enough money. We're a little bit short. Now let's get them set to grain anyway. Grain, grain, grain. Okay then, we're going to leave it there, folks. Okay, I've, I've got some signals to do on this. And we've got um, some more carriages to buy. So we'll finish this particular part of the line off next time. And then we'll move on to the next part of the projects. So... Thank you very much for watching. Leave all your thoughts, ideas and questions, as always, down in the comments section below. And I will see you sometime soon. Thanks for watching, take care, and for now, goodbye.